Yo, what's good, YouTube? What's good? What's good, girls? That was a serious ass moment right there. Um, something. Oh shit! This is this is a hot mess right now. Like I don't even know what's happening. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your girl Bun. I'm back, and today I filmed this bronzy, glowy, extra AF, if you will, look. And I love it. You know I love glowy skin. You know I love extra. So yeah. Um, if you would like to know how I got this look, keep on watching. Oh my gosh, yes, it's still me. The same girl that was on the screen two seconds ago, okay? Calm down, I'm doing a makeup tutorial. All right, to start off with my eyes, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and prime my eyelids. I'm gonna take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just set. Taking this color here, I'm going to warm up the crease, use this as my transition shade. So taking this shade here, I'm going to be deepening the crease as well with this one. Okay, taking this shade here, I'm going to be putting that in the outer V of my eye and smoking it out. And I'm really going to focus this color on the outer V here and just kind of blending it up and smoking it out. I'm bringing, bringing the color up slightly into the crease, but not too far over, just really keeping it on the outer of my eye. You know, you gotta deepen it up a little bit. <laughs> All right, so now taking this shade and putting that along the crease and just blending everything away with this color. I'll be taking this angled blending brush to really just blend this color out and make sure it's pretty seamless. Okay, going back in with that same blending brush that I used for the dark brown and I'm just going to again deepen, it, deepen the crease a little bit more. Now I'm going to do a cut crease. I'm gonna be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I just put some concealer on my hand here. Putting the concealer on my lid here. And then I'm gonna bring it Right, I'm just gonna bring it right where the dark shadow kind of stops and just bring it up. And just kind of blend it out. All right, taking this shade here, I'm going to be putting that all over the lid. So I'm just packing 
to really intensify the pigment and then once I get it to my desired look then I'll blend away so going back in with that orange shade that last orange transition shade I'm just going to blend it all out I'm going to be taking this shade and putting just a tiny bit on my lid in the center. I'll be taking my finger and dipping into that color and just putting that just a little bit right on the center of the lid just to brighten it up a tad. So then taking that whatever is left on the brush from the dark shade that I put on my outer V here I'm just going to kind of build that a little bit and then just blend these all together. All right, and then a light coat of mascara. All right, my favorite lashes that you can get from like Target or Walmart or whatever, Salon Perfect. They are the ones, the 614s. Girl, you, your lash is going to be on fleek. Like. <laughs> All right, taking my Too Faced primer and a little bit of my MAC strobe cream, mixing those together, I'm going to be priming the face. Glue is tacky. Let's go ahead and try to put this on. I like to place it in the middle and then drag it. Drag it where you need it. Oh girl, like where are you going with them lashes, boo? For foundation, I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Coverage foundation because I am trying to achieve a very dewy, bronzy, glowy look. This foundation taking my Real Technique sponge to blend it out. All right, for concealer, I'm taking my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. It is such a good concealer. I'm using Light Pale. <laughs> well, what do you know? Under my eyes to highlight and brighten. Down the bridge of my nose, my chin, and then my forehead. To contour, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and y'all, this has been like my new favorite to contour with. Mm, so good. I'm. This is the shade 30 Cafe, and I just take it and then put it on my cheekbones and then my forehead, jawline, and it just really brings. Lots of good color back to my face. Where's my brush? And then I take this little stippling brush here and just blend it out. I blend first and then I press the product. I take my sponge and I just go over those parts that I contoured and I blend it all out to make sure we good. Now, of course, if I want the bronze look, you know I'm going to be using my Iconic London Illuminator Drops. These are perfect for bronzy, glowy look. I just take a couple of drops on my hand.
like look at that glow that it comes off that it gives it's just it's stunning it's stunning okay like I am glowing I am glowing girl all right to set my under eyes I'm gonna be taking the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder and it's just so good it's just so good like it does not have flashbacks so you don't have like me and Maybelline we we All right, for the lower lash line, I did a little bit on this eye already. I'm taking my L'Oreal um, eyeliner, and I'm gonna put this black eyeliner in my waterline, and then taking my black shadow and just really smoking the black out. I'll be, take, I'll be taking this shade here to smoke out the lower lash line. And I'm really going to be dragging it down, the shade down. I really want my lower lash line to be smoky. Taking this blending brush here, I'm going to dip in the orange shade of this palette and smoke it out as we're warming it up. To bronze the skin, I'm taking this Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer. Why was that so difficult? Taking this Real Techniques um, Blush Brush and dipping this into my bronzer and bronzing this face. To contour the face, I'm taking my Hoola Benefit Contour. I'm going to contour my cheekbones, jawline, and forehead. To clean up under my contour, I'm taking that Fit Me Powder. I'm just going to put a little bit of powder here. Let it sit for a tad bit, but not too long, girl, because mm -mm, I'm, you know. So for blusher, I'm taking this Milani Baked Blush and applying a tad bit on my cheekbones. I'm just gonna take my bronzing brush, dip a little bit. It's really pigmented, so. And then just brushing this on my cheeks. I'm gonna dust this powder away. Oh, let me let me do my brows. The brows are on, and I'm gonna be taking this little highlight shade in my Jaclyn Hill palette to highlight my brow bone and inner corner. Okay, to go over that highlight a little bit, I'm gonna be taking this L'Oreal foil, this crushed foil highlight in rose quartz. To highlight the face, I'm gonna be taking that same highlight, the L'Oreal crushed foil metallic highlighter, and this is in rose quartz, and it's one of the best drugstore highlights. Like. Like it just melts, it just melts. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I put a little bit above the brows and blend it out. And then on the tip, on the forehead here. Whew, this highlight. 
Alright, let's spray the face with my Mario Badescu spray. I spray so much, but it's so good. Just, just can't help it. So I want to try this color with this eye look on my lips and see if I like it. It's the Smashbox Always On Metallic Matte, and this is in Carrot Stick. So yeah, let's apply this carrot stick. It's just so pretty. It's just so So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is so bronzy and glowy and it's just like my kind of look. If I could go to one look, it would be bronzy and glowy because it's just life, you know? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.